right, Algebra 1, Lesson 32. This is, is on word problems, okay? Now, um, understanding word problems is very important because you've got to know how you're breaking up to make an equation. For example, it says this, the sum of twice a number and 13 is 75. So I'm going to write this out real quick. The sum of twice a number and 13 is 75. Okay, the first, first thing I want you to notice is the sum of. The sum of what? Twice a number and 13. The sum of that is 75. So we know that something plus something, because we're finding the sum of twice a number and 13 is 75. Okay? Just a moment. Okay, so what you're going to do from here is now you just need to get your ends by itself and bring the numbers over there. So we'll take plus 13 and make it minus 13 once it crosses the equals. And then 2 times n, that's what that says, equals, then we'll do the math of that and then work it like normal, okay? So at this point, I shouldn't have to finish it out. Um, I'm just showing you how to do something else, okay? Let's go into the next problem. Here's what it says. Find a number such that 13 less than twice a number is 30, 137. So find a number that 13 less than twice a number, I'm just going to put twice a number with that, is 137. So 13 less than twice a number, twice a number is 137. So, 13 less than what? Twice a number. So we have twice a number, twice a number, and then 13 less than that, minus 13. Okay, if you went 13 minus, then, then it would be t um, twice a number less than 13. But that's not what we're wanting to say. We're wanting to say 13 less than, and this is the only way to write 13 less than this. Okay, so it's this number and then 13 less than that. So you always, whenever you see the 13 less than, it always goes second because that's what's being less than. Okay, so now 13 less than twice a number is 137. Okay, and then you'd work it just like normal. Get all your ends over here, your numbers over there, and work the problem. All right, let's do the next one. Um, Example three, uh, find a number such that, and here's what it says, if five times a number, five times the number, five times the number is decreased by, is decreased by 14, the result is, or equal, the result is, The result is twice the opposite of the number. Okay. <laughs> now let's break this down. All right. It, um, you, it's not as hard as you think it is, so let's just kind of work this, okay? Five times the number, five in, five times the number is decreased by 14. Decreased by, or less than, however you want to say it, is less than 14. Decreased by 14, minus 14. Okay, is decreased by 14. So we're done with that one, we're done with that one. The result is, meaning equal, twice the opposite of a number. Twice, twice what? The opposite of a number. The opposite of is always another way of saying negative. So the opposite of a number is negative n, and then it's twice that. So two times negative n. So you want to put this in parentheses because you're multiplying that um, twice the opposite of that, the opposite of the number. Okay? So it's important that it's in parentheses because it's negative n, the opposite of a number. Okay? So... 
we would just work the problem out like normal and get our answer. Okay? So all you're learning how to do today is how to write the equation. We know how to answer the problems. Okay? Now, let's go on and do example four. Okay? Here's what it says. Find a number which decreased by 18 equals five times its opposite. So, find a number. Find a number which decreased by 18 equals 5 times its opposite. Okay, we're just going to take this one step at a time. Okay, so find a number. There's a number. Decreased by 18 minus 18 equals, we're done with that one, decreased by 18, done with that one, equals, done with that one, five times its opposite. Five times, five times, and then its opposite is negative n, okay? Okay, its opposite, remember opposite is negative, five times that, five times its opposite, all right? So, make sure that you're learning and doing that, okay? So, find a number which decreased by 18 equals 5 times its opposite. What's opposite? The number's opposite. So, n is the opposite of, okay? Opposite of the number is negative n, all right? Now, let's do our last one. This is example 5, and here's what it says. And this one doesn't seem like it's a really a problem, um, an equation, but here's what it says. We get the same result if we multiply a number by 3 or if we multiply the number by 5 and then add 2. So let me write this out. We get the same result if we multiply a number by 3 or... If we multiply the number multiply the number by five and then add two. Now, listen to the equation. We get the same result if we multiply a number by three or if we multiply the number by 5 and then add 2, find the number, is what it says. So if we multiply a number by 3, multiplying the number by 3, okay, 3 times n or 3n, or, and when it said uh, we get the same result, that was kind of to show you that this is an equation equals this equation. Okay, so listen to it. We get the same result if, all right, so they're taking this can equal this. So now let's do the second part. If we multiply the number by 5, multiply the number, the number by 5, 5 in, and then add 2. And then it says find the number. So on this one, I'm just going to work it out for you. We're going to get 3n and take the 5n on this side, so it will become a negative 5n, equals 2. All right? And now we get 3n plus negative 5n becomes negative 2n equals 2. And so now this says negative 2 times n. And so this is, since we're wanting to get the n by itself, this times negative 2 becomes divided by negative 2. And so this says 2 divided by negative 2. Final answer, negative 1. Okay? So then you can put that 1 into this problem, okay, negative 1, put it in this problem, or put it in that problem, and it should equal the same. So let's go 3 times negative 1, that would be negative 3 for this answer, and then this one would become, if we put the n as negative 1 as our answer, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 plus 2, that becomes negative 3. Negative 3, negative 3. So they equal each other, and that's kind of what they are just demonstrating, okay? That is lesson 32.